Kerbal Space Program, but everything is getting closer. Can I land on Lathe when the orbits keep changing? Let's find out. Why go to Jewel when I can bring Jewel to me? Seems like a logical question, right? And that's exactly what I've done. So today, we're bringing the orbits a little closer together to make the planets feel a little more at home. So as I go faster, the orbits should hopefully decrease. I mean, yep, they sure are. Oh, that's really weird to watch. <laughs> it looks like I'm just zooming out. <laughs> I like that. That's cool. I have this nice SSTO here and hopefully we're going to go places. You've all probably seen Kerbal Space Program, but the sun gets bigger, which is the last video I did. It's a similar story here. As we're getting closer to the sun, it's going to appear to be getting bigger and temperature might become an issue. So, uh, <laughs> about, uh, that, the what? Yeah. The what? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, we're at Jewel. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> what the hell? It appears we've already arrived at Jewel with minimal fuel and we have plenty to spare. I'm moving at quite, quite a velocity, though. What? <laughs> Where am I? Am I inside this... I'm inside the sun. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> What's going on here, boys? What's all this about? Wait, what the hell? There's a planet inside Jewel? Hold on, let's tap through. Let's tap through. Let's start with the sun. Oh, what is... What is... What? Why does the sun have clouds? Why are there clouds on the sun? Why is it... <laughs> Why is it doing this? Okay, this is Moho. Cool. Then we've got Eve. Yeah, okay. I can see them. Gilly is inside Eve. And that's what I presume to be Lathe, I think. Then, oh, no, that's Kerbin. Okay. And then we've got the Mun, which is, okay, directly inside Kerbin. Fair enough. Minmus is inside the Mun. <laughs> then we've got Juna. Okay. And I'm presuming, yeah, Ike is inside Juna. Then we've got Driss. Now, I'm interested about Jewel. So we've got Lathe. That's not Lathe, my friend. But I, I think Lathe and Tylo might be the same, the same radius. So that could be what the problem is. So I think I know what's happening. If a moon gets close to the planet, its sphere of influence decreases. And I think what's happening here is that Kerbin is getting closer and closer to the sun and it reaches a certain point where Kerbin's sphere of influence gets so small that my craft is then suddenly outside of Kerbin's sphere of influence and then I'm technically orbiting the sun. And that's where it gets weird because I'm inside the sun. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the sun's gravity as I speed up as well to hopefully fix that issue, but I'm not exactly sure how well that's going to work, but we'll give it a go. I don't know how fast I managed to end up going, but we're still inside the sun. Ah, well, this is, this is different, I suppose. This is different. Uh, we're on a collision course for Juna. I was trying to make this into like a challenge video or something. I was trying to record like this challenge video. I was like, this is going to be cool. We're going to see all of the planets really close together. I didn't mean this close together, but <laughs> I reversed to launch and um yeah uh, <laughs> i'm on moho apparently uh we're about to take a little look inside jewel oh man <laughs> are we about to go under it yeah oh look hi tylo oh this is weird oh and eve's there as well it looks like i'm sharing the same orbit with eve actually yeah i think we are i think me and eve orbit at exactly the same altitude oh is that kerbin it's kerbin hey kerbin <laughs> all right i've made some changes and the closest the planets can get towards each other is 10 times further away than what we've already seen so with some luck that should hopefully work a little bit better and there's a there's a rocket over there why is there a, how long's that been there for has that been there the entire time um i'm very close to the sun i'm gonna control the speed See, look, look how close the moon is oh oh we've got an improvement but we're still inside the sun we have ourselves what looks like an improvement however the problem is i'm still going really really quick Wait, what am i orbiting eve apparently but you know that doesn't look too bad but you can see eve you can see juna you can see jewel you can see some random i think that's elu over there let's set an orbit around kerbin and I've crashed. Don't set an orbit around Kerbin. <laughs> I have made many changes. Now, the first change is to stop the Mun from crashing into Kerbin. It can't go inside Kerbin anymore. It can only go as far as the radius of Kerbin, which means it can still clip inside, which might still cause the problem. But I've done this for every single moon. Yeah, uh, it still did it, didn't it? It still did it. However, my speed looks all right. And if we look at Kerbin, for example, Minmus is touching Kerbin and the Mun is also touching Kerbin. So that's what? 
working. I'm orbiting Eve, apparently. I have done things differently yet again. I've made the sphere of influences of all of the planets decrease as well, so hopefully we won't get any overlaps between the planets. I've also increased the range at which <laughs> the moon and other moons can actually go to. So hopefully this is the one. All right, let's hope for the best. We got to about 750 meters per second last time. Let's see if that happens again. Now the moon should hopefully, actually how close to the sun am I getting? Am I gonna enter Eve's sphere of influence? That's the problem. I'm reaching 1000 meters per second and that is when the multiplier is the highest. Oh, it's so close. Oh. <laughs> Eve coming in with the jump scare there, dude. <laughs> the hell was that? Did you guys just see Eve come at me? I'm pretty sure it just went straight past me as well. <laughs> what was that? That was hardly fair, let's be honest. Oh, that's gilly. <gasps> oh, I really want to go there now. Oh, I really want to go there. Eve just came sailing past my dude. Right, I've reverted to launch. Now, a little disclaimer for how this plugin works is that it'll store all of the planet's altitudes. Every time the plugin starts, it stores those, but it starts in flight, which means if the planets are close together, it kind of stacks on top of each other. So this is actually as far apart as they get and if I start going faster again they'll get even closer. So let's do that because it seems to be stable right now. It seems to be all good. I mean look at that. That's pretty bloody cool. That's pretty bloody cool. So yeah everything is getting closer again and I don't know how stable this is going to be, how long this is going to actually keep it up for. I have a feeling at any moment I'm just going to be sucked out of Kerbin into something but it's looking fairly stable I suppose. Uh, let's see how far we can really go and you can see the atmosphere has changed as well. I'm not sure why, whether it's because I'm really close or because the game's breaking. I mean, if we look at the log, it seems fine, but let's see. Oh, look how close that's getting. There's something there. Is that meant to be Gilly? Hold on. I'm just going to cut my engines real quick and I'm just going to go very slow. Look at that. It is Gilly. <laughs> we're back at it again with Kerbal Space Program beauty shots. <laughs> oh, look how close we're getting to Eve though. I'm not liking how close I'm getting to Eve. Am I going to end up touching Eve? You know what? Let's go all the way. We've broken the game enough. Look at that. <laughs> This is crazy. Oh, hello, Eve. Now, again, we get the closest we can at a thousand meters per second, and it looks like I'm gonna touch Eve long before that happens, which means I might end up transferring to its sphere of influence. Look at that. Oh, no. Look how close I'm getting. Hello. Hello, Gilly. Hi. That's so cool. <laughs> Gilly's about to, like, smash into Kerbin in a second. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, just as I suspected. <laughs> just as I suspected, I crashed into Eve. What's this? What's that? That's e Elu? Juna? Everyone's inside Eve. Jewel? And there's just Leave just vibing out. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Well, we're making progress. All right, so what I've done now is I've time warped enough so that if we go past Eve, it's not going to be life-threatening. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't get jump-scared by Eve this time. So without further ado, let's carry on. All right, so so far it's working as normal. So we managed to get to about 850 meters per second last time, I think. So we're gonna try and go for a similar sort of speed again. Now 1000 is the limit. 1000 is when everything is as close together as it can be. So that's what we're really aiming for at the end of this. There, there's something. I don't know what that is. Is that the Mun? The frick is that? Oh, it is the Mun. Oh, we're almost 975, 980. We got a lag spike though. I'm just gonna hold our velocity here. There's Minmus, hello. We're almost at 1000. <gasps> Well, okay, um... <laughs> <laughs> a thousand should be the limit. I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but we're just vibe. This looks really pretty, actually. That's that's kind of nice. That genuinely almost ended up working. I feel like we're almost there. The the new speed limit is 999 meters per second, and if you go faster, nothing happens. I've made sure that absolutely nothing else happens if you go faster than 999 meters per second. So hopefully, this will now work. 700 meters per second. Come on. Minimus is getting very close. 800. I'm probably going to start slowing my acceleration down a little bit. 900. There's Minmus. It's getting very close. Okay. Can we see? There's that lag spike. I'm not exactly sure what that is. But there's Minmus. I don't see. Oh, there's Eve. We're not going to get jump scared by Eve this time because I'm accelerating slowly. Oh, it's still coming pretty quick thick and fast. There we go. 1,000 meters per second and it's just stopped. That's it. That's as close as they're getting. And they've gone away again. <laughs> That's as close as they're getting. There we go. Let's try and get a duel. Now, I'm not actually sure whether this works as an SSTO, but I'm still going to try it anyway. And to be honest, this video is a little bit for just shits and giggles anyway, isn't it? Uh, where's duel? There's duel. That's where we're off to. The thing is, if I slow down past 1,000, duel will disappear. So I have to be traveling very quickly at all times. <laughs> if I time warp at five times, I have 
have a feeling it's going to break everything. Yeah, five times time warp reverts everything back to what it was before. But when I time warp back down, it goes back to whatever it was. But it seems to be changing as well. Oh, now everything's really far apart. That's really weird. Everything seems to be getting further apart every time I do this. All right, there's Jewel. It's behind the sun. Um, right. <laughs> How are we going to do this one? We're going to warp around here. We're going to add a maneuver here. And we're just going to escape Kerbin's sphere of influence, I suppose. Oh, that's requiring an awful lot of thrust. Oh, man. That needs that needs a lot. Let's see what happens if I just add a maneuver here. How much is that going to cost? A lot. That's the... How? And I blew up. I guess I'm not able to do that. Well, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to Jewel this episode. Will I make a part two? Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a part two where I try and develop the mod a little bit more, try and actually get to Jewel, but unfortunately this time I wasn't able to, but hopefully you all had fun along the way with the crazy stuff that was happening in the background. I mean, <laughs> just just seeing Eve come at me like that was... Whew. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Kerbal Space Program, but if you do want to see more, check out the playlist, also check out some of the other Kerbal videos I do, or if you want something completely different, I do other videos on different games as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode.